Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can change out the theme on Bodicera. I've been getting a lot of questions lately on how to do this. And then also for those of you that have figured out how to do this, I'm going to show you guys also how to change the language on it. Because a lot of these themes, when we go in and we change them, they'll actually go in and download into our system in a different language than what we're looking for. So I'll show you guys how to change that as well. Let's jump into it. All right, so here we are in Bodicera. I'm gonna show you guys how to change your theme. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our main menu. From here, we're gonna drop down to updates and downloads towards the bottom. We'll select that. And here under downloads, you have a bunch of different options, but we wanna to go to themes. So that's the second one down. We'll select themes. And here is where our themes downloader populates in and it gives us a bunch of different options of themes we can download. So I'm currently on the art flicks theme, which you can see right here, it says current theme. So we can just scroll down and find a bunch of different options here. And the really cool thing about Botticera's themes is they're all really unique and really interesting. So I'm gonna actually go down to the platform one and I'm going to download this one. So all I need to do is select it and then we get the option to install. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit install. You do need to obviously be connected to the internet for this to work. And you can see up in the top right corner, it says downloading one of one. Another really cool feature here is we can download multiple themes at the same time. So we could drop down, find another one if we wanted to. This one here, the Star Wars theme looks cool. If I wanted to download that one, which I really don't right now, just because I want to um, you know, not add too much to my particular setup here and take up too much space. But if I wanted to add this one, I would just go ahead and hit enter and it would just populate into the top right there and it would say downloading one of two. So that means that once the platform theme is fully downloaded, it would go in and add the Star Wars theme as well. So really like that. You can go in and add multiple themes at the same time, which just makes it a lot easier. You could just stack up a bunch of themes you want to add in and kind of walk away from your system for a little while, let it do its thing, come back later, and everything would be all set and ready to go. So I'm going to let this fully download over there in the top right corner, and we'll come back once that has been fully downloaded, and I'll show you guys how to switch over to the newly downloaded theme, as well as how to change the language if you need to do so. All right, so once everything has been fully downloaded, we're gonna just back out of the current page here, and we're gonna back out once again, and now we'll jump up to UI settings and select that. And now for theme set, you can see that we're currently on Artflix. So I'm just gonna select this option and I'm gonna drop down to platform and select that. So now it's not gonna change until we back out of our main menu. So I'm just gonna back out. So here we are in last played. And if we scroll down, it'll bring us into a Thomas wave, Capcom classics, and each one has its own unique sort of look to it, which is really cool on this particular theme so you could just keep scrolling down and seeing how each one looks but if we now were experiencing an issue where let's say we jump into midway games for example here you can see everything's in english we have a description of the game over there on the right hand side and if we jump down to the next one which is defender same sort of deal but what a lot of people experience when they first start messing around with themes in Botticera for the very first time after a fresh build is that the language may not be selected as English. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how we can go in and change the language on here for each of our themes if we need to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch back over to my other theme. I'm just a little bit more familiar with the look and feel of Artflix. So I'm going to go into UI settings and I'm going to go to theme set and just go back up to art flicks. So I selected that. Now I just need to back out for it to change over again. And there we go. We're back into the art flicks theme. So if we're looking to change our language, all we need to do is we need to go into UI settings again. We need to go into theme configuration and we need to drop down to region. So if we go into region, you can see I'm selected as EN. You want to make sure that if you're looking for English, that's what you have selected. You may find that one of these is going to be your default. If that's the case, just go ahead and select EN. That's gonna bring everything to English for you. The other thing that we can do is we need to make sure that our language is selected to English on Bodicera itself. So we're gonna back out. So we're back to the main menu and we're gonna go down to system settings. We're gonna select that and we're gonna go into language here select that and just make sure that you're on English if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for a different language, then obviously just locate that other language on this list 
and select that instead. So I'm gonna leave it on English. And again, that's why you can tell that everything in my themes is in English. If we take a look at each of those descriptions and the uh, titles of each game, everything is fully in English. So that's pretty much it in terms of changing your themes and your language here on Botticera. All right, so we jumped in here. We changed the theme on Botticera. A lot of great options to choose from here. I think the hardest part of this process is figuring out which theme you actually want to go with because they're all so damn cool. Um, that's going to do it for today, though. If you guys enjoyed this and you found this video helpful, smash the like button for me if you have any questions about the process or need any advice or help along the way. Feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Always happy to help you guys out any way I possibly can. But that's going to do it for today. You know the drill, though. Smash the uh, subscribe button if you haven't already just to stay in the loop for all future videos on here. I do a ton of stuff based on retro gaming, product reviews, tutorials like this one, gameplay demos, uh, Forgotten Favorites YouTube series, and a bunch of new stuff coming to the channel in the very near future as well. So definitely hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching.